This is about to be a real important video. Please watch the whole video because you will be glad that you did. This is why what you put in your body is way more important than you think. We're all aware of the metaphor that you are what you eat. That's 100% true. All the food that you digest affects your brain. If you're eating unhealthy junk food, what do you think is going on with your brain? You don't even realize because your whole life you've been eating the same foods. It doesn't occur to you how dumb you actually are. No offense. Junk food shapes adolescent brains in ways that impair their ability to think, learn, and remember. It can also make it harder to control impulsive behaviors. It can even up teens' risk of depression and anxiety. Some random waves of sad thoughts you be having for no reason. It's like no matter what, you can be having a good time, things will be going good out of nowhere, you just have bad thoughts. You need to understand that that's not normal. I used to deal with that all the time and now that that's gone, it's like life is not real. It's like life is so good that it's impossible that I just don't have any bad thoughts. Let me tell you why that happens. You know how y'all love meat so much? The meat that gets put in your body was once an alive creature. While it was alive, it was just chained, treated like shit, wasn't getting no good food, no good nutrients, it was just living depressed. All those emotions get released in the hormones when it dies. When you eat that same meat you're consuming is hormones. Again, everything you digest goes to your brain, so it's affecting your mood. So you can just be in a bad mood and not put your finger on why. You just wake up feeling edgy. And in case you didn't know, waking up in a bad mood is not normal. It's not about you being tired. But y'all, favorite thing to say is, okay, we don't eat meat. How are we going to get protein? You look at you, you so skinny. It's rare to be the people that know nothing about health. Once again, protein comes from plants. The animals eat plants and you eat the animal, you get secondhand protein. Protein actually comes from nitrogen, but plants extract it during photosynthesis. Protein is not only from meat. I don't know why y'all think that you can only get protein from meat. I'll be bragging, saying shit like, I will never stop eating meat. I love meat. Meat just too good. What you're doing is displaying how weak-minded you are. You know something is bad for you, but you can't stop because it's just so good. It feels so good. You have enough mental strength to do what you have to do. You're too weak. You think you like meat and cheese and shit more than the average vegan? Do you think that we just don't like it or something, so we just stopped? Of course the shit was good. I never in my life thought that was even a possibility for me to go vegan. Never in this lifetime. Look at me now, not only vegan, but trying to get y'all to go vegan. Once you feel so good and feel a certain way, you want everybody to feel this way. You hear a good song, watch a good movie, you want other people to see it or hear it have to add this you don't have to do this if you don't want to please don't tell me that you're not going to do it this information could really help somebody if you don't want to take this information in just leave why are you still this late in the video For all y'all that's saying that we're omnivores so we have to eat both think about this say you were just born in nature right you were just left right here you had the option to pick this on the other side to eat one of these living animals what do you think occurs naturally in your body to eat walk up to these motherfuckers and then open them up For you to stop eating meat you are an electromagnetic being with an electromagnetic field you are energy everything living has to be charged but what are you eating to charge your electromagnetic field so because you're not eating these electrical foods to charge your electromagnetic field up it's causing you to be disconnected from the source so it's cutting off your ability to connect with your higher self your higher self is god it's the righteous side of you your higher self is what taps in the information that's why a lot of y'all who eat meat can't comprehend this information because everything you eat is frequency and if you eat eating meat, you want a way lower frequency. But everything I'm telling you from a higher consciousness, you won't comprehend. Take a look at this tree. This tree is alive. This tree is meant to produce fruit for us. All this shit is natural. So why do you think it's okay to eat dead food? This is all dead energy. This is not meant to be in our body. This is all natural food. Nature gave us this food to eat for a reason. The only way you can get this is to kill a living animal. But regardless, that's some dark, evil shit. The people who normalize it, the people who feed you that shit, it's the people that's controlling us. The reason why you don't see these no more for real? Because they stopped growing all the female trees and started growing only male trees. Because female trees produces fruit and vegetables for us. They don't want us getting that natural food for our body. They don't want us charging our electromagnetic field. It's the more we eat shit like that, it's the more that we grow spiritually. You can't open your pineal gland eating meat. Don't listen to a single soul saying you're supposed to eat both or whatever. Meat is not supposed to go in our body, and especially not our body. I love y'all.